Hi, my name is Brittany Bartholmus. I am Jenny Kate Rhodes. I'm Olivia Cameron. My name's Avery Williams, AKA Ghost. I'm Allison Amon. I am Colin Hood. I am Wade Matthews. And I play Georgianne. I am playing Trisha. And I'm playing Francis. I play Meredith. I play Mindy McClure. I am playing Trip. And I am playing Trip Davenport. Trisha is very much a strong, independent woman, does not need no man. She is one of the bridesmaids, obviously, and a longtime friend of the bride, Tracy. Frances is a Tracy's cousin. She's a very conservative lady, and she's very true to her values, but she also is very polite. Meredith is rebellious and rambunctious, basically a freight train every single time she gets on stage. She is the sister of Tracy. She has some personal beef with her, I think. Georgian is old friend of Tracy. She has the biggest personality. She's hilarious. She has some insecurities and so there's a little bit of emotion going on there, but overall she's this wonderful person. The first thing we learn about Mindy is she is the groom's sister. The second thing we learn about her is she's a lesbian. She keeps the tone pretty lighthearted throughout, but she's also capable of like real emotional depth. He's an usher for the wedding. He is the only male role in the show is somebody that Trisha flirts with a lot in the show and by the end of the show he gets the courage to, you know, ask her out. He's described as a bad boy. He's kind of a college frat boy that never really like grew up. He's a little bit deeper than just that. He's quirky, he's charming, he's flirty. I love her independence and her confidence. I love that Frances is so honest and that she's always listening and she's there to understand and she also doesn't leave her friend's side. I've always said that like all my characters have ADHD because that's the only, that's all I know. I don't know what it's like to not have ADHD, but Mindy, kind of feels like she's meant to. Her first entrance is this big stream of consciousness rant. Ugh, that's me, that's me, every day. I love how Georgian can just say anything truthfully and she has no fears about how it's gonna reflect on her. I think Meredith is really funny. I think it's a lot of the same humor that I enjoy. I love the fact that he gets to wear an earring <laughs> because I love my earrings. I like that he's so quirky in the way he he flirts. I'm gonna, you know, push your buttons a little bit, but then you're gonna fall in love with me. It's a role that I've not gotten to play a lot of before. I'm usually typecast as a very small stressed man and to play somebody that's more level headed, a little bit cooler, it is nice for me. It's a good change. For this, uh, I was just doing high school theater. Then like jumping into college theater, it's like, I guess very freeing to suddenly be doing really mature shows. Since COVID, it's been hard uh, as an actor because we've all wanted this outlet to perform and be in person. For one thing, this show has finally been that outlet for us. I've grown in learning how to take all of these small individual things that I have worked on and compile them all into one character. I think I've grown a lot because I didn't have much training in high school. I feel like the one-on-one -on -one with Laura Beth is really helping me and hearing it from like other cast members of like ways to warm up and stuff like that is really helping me grow. I think the biggest thing is in terms of the space we're using because I've never done anything in a thrust theater before, no, never anything with audience on three sides. So it's really cool to learn how to like stay open so all three of the audience panels get to stay in and get to see me do everything. I gotten to do a lot of emotional scenes that I never thought I would get to do. So yeah, just like more mature acting. This is the first time I've really had a role where I could like sit down and like pick apart someone's life. I've been able to do that like through acting classes and everything with individual scenes, but like an actual role with a whole arc has been, being able to do that has been amazing. Laura Beth's been an excellent director. She's taught us a lot. She's not like just a director. She's been teaching us a lot about acting in the process as well. We have a lot of new warm ups that we've learned. And it's just, I think having Laura Beth as a director has been a very valuable resource. I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> this show is hilarious. So if you love to laugh, you definitely should come see our show. They should come see it because 
there's a, an elliptical that has very perfect comedic timing. <laughs> if you have a sliver as much fun as we have during rehearsals and putting this on, you are going to have the time of your life. Come see this show because one, it's cheap. Two, it's gut busting hilarious. You will cry, you will laugh. It's also just very real and very honest. These people feel like people. It's just fun. It's so fun. I've enjoyed it so much. I find it to just be extremely fun and extremely important too. Because it's so good. It's gonna be so fun. And why not? Why wouldn't you come see it?